In today's video, we're finally opening the brand new English Kaiba briefcase. What's up guys, we're back with a very large box. This is not gonna fit my setup. I don't know what we're gonna do here, but we're gonna figure it out. I know I'm a little far from the mic, so you might not be able to hear me. We will be opening the Kaiba briefcase. Shout out to Jose, AKA Unholy Fat Man for sending this to me so that we could open it up because I didn't get one myself. I mean, you guys ordered this forever ago. Like, what was it, like eight months ago or something stupid like that, and they're finally here. We do have a giveaway though. And it had to be blue eyes themed, obviously. We have Starter Deck Kyber Reloaded with the ultimate rare, the only ultimate rare print blue eyes in the TCG. So just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below. What do you think about this brand new product? Did you get one yourself or did you not? Because, you know, it takes so long to get here. Really heavy, really expensive. We're looking at a huge box here. I don't know if you're gonna be able to hear me or not. I brought the mic over a little bit, but very large. One, one single unit down there. Okay, I just wanna see you guys I uh, would see me open it up because my setup does not hold stuff this big. We had to go one handed on the knife. Not very safe, but make sure you're not pointing toward yourself, ladies and gentlemen, like that. OK, we're going to swap it. swap. Look at that over oh, the knife. It's been sharpened recently, so it's working a little better inside. We have a box within a box. Whoa, this is getting exciting. All right, I'm going to have to pull this out uh, separately. Here we go. Oh, oh, I just ripped it. Oh, come on. Go. I should probably just cut the other side, but that would be too easy. So here it is. Boom. No struggle at all. That was easy. The Kaiba briefcase. Boom. That was easy. Warning. This could in contain Yu-Gi-Oh cards. All right, let's open this thing up. Let's see what's inside. We got to get the full reveal before I bring it up to the to the desk. Okay. Oh, oh wrong way. Whoa. I guess we're opening this backwards. Time out, time out. We'll reveal once again. Oh, there they are. Giant briefcase, not holding that many cards, just like it. We've done a video like this in the OCG and uh, yeah, very similar. So very cool looking cards. We're about to pull all this stuff out and go through everything. The I mean, this is a extremely like high quality. It's very heavy. I mean, if heavy means high quality, I guess it is briefcase. So, I mean, it can hold a lot stays open you could probably store some graded cards in here or something like that that would probably be pretty cool uh but enough of the floor gang uh pewdiepie reference let's just go back to the table wait what am i thinking we gotta go through this this way i mean we gotta go through get everything out then we'll go through it okay so here we have some instructions this is how you use the briefcase you open it you close it okay cool stuff what in the world is this we've got a little okay that's what the instructions were that looks like a little holder they're in the basically dds styles what people calling them the prismatic secret rare the crazy part is there's no set code on these that's interesting so no set code not first set not limited ed, just unlimited with no set code so pretty cool i like that that way i mean they, <laughs> okay i mean that's kind of weird but I guess that's cool. Uh, very nice looking cards. I guess you, you can technically get these out. I'm sure some people will grade these. The OCG Japanese version were super high quality. They were like PSA 10, BGS 10, like basically every time. On these, let's check the centering. Centering looks pretty good on these so far from what I can tell. Uh, the question is, is there any other issues? I'm not gonna pull these out because these are Jose's. Oh, look, there I am. Hello, hi guys. But Jose sent this in. Oh, look how shiny this is is check that out you can see my whole setup back there rux at 34 back oh that's my hand getting in the way okay but pretty cool i mean this is the real reason you buy this thing is these three blue eyes they're really cool a lot of people probably will grade them try to get their money back because this thing was i think this was 400 bucks if i remember correctly but i didn't buy one as i said so shout out to jose for grabbing one sending it to me oh and of course this thing holds it up so these two like you put them on the back and stand it up so that's what that's for inside you get a little kaiba corp this is looks like dividers or something like that with kaiba corp on them those are kind of kind of fancy i like that a little shiny these things are basically going to go in between the big dividers that are later uh later on in this thing basically you just take them you put them between your cards but they're really cool because they got a little, little shiny action to them they look really good is there anything else on there what's at the bottom uh sd stk okay very cool so a bunch of those maybe three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen Fourteen. That's a random number. Did I miscount? Maybe fifteen. I don't know. And then you get your cards, which is, uh, I mean, big time. We're talking big time here. Is that a quarter century? Un <laughs> we already have a quarter century of this. It's just a different set code. So, not too crazy there. I think there's like a pull tab on these or something. They told me last time. Okay, maybe it's right here. Let's see if I can figure it out without trying to cut cards. 
There it is. You guys told me this in the comments. Guess what? I read the comments. So yeah, I'm that crazy. I read the comments. I now understood the comments and now I've taken advantage of the comments in a way, in a good way. Like, you know, you told me something and I actually did it. Okay, blue eyes, white dragon. We've got blue eyes, ultimate dragon. So the condition and quality of these cards seems to be pretty high. It looks pretty good. I mean, it's never going to be OCG level. Those are always really nice. Blue eyes, ultimate attack, guidance, arm. I don't know what this card is. That must be some sort of Kaiba card. Uh, life shaver. Are these like I mean, I guess they were originally in the OCG one and we just now got them for the first time because I haven't seen a lot of these magical trick mirror. Same thing. I've never even heard of this card. Blue eyes. I mean, obviously, these are old. Hayo Zanru. Very cool to see that. Judge man. That is an absolute classic Kaiba card. The judge man, which actually wait. I think he does use it, but then there's the guy with the, the who is the judge. You know, it, what season is that? Is that season three when, uh, is that season three or five? I think it's three when they go to that weird world with Noah. Isn't that when they face them? And they have like, uh, Tristan duels them, I think. Tristan and a couple other people. It's like a three, three person duel. Sword stock. We have a uh, still regard number two. I can't remember. Sword stock definitely is. This is the card. Oh, okay. We, this card was cut out of the TCG. Well, out of TCG, uh, not TCG, the anime on four kids. I think this is the card that he used to stop the gun from working. Yeah, it was insane. They tried to shoot the little, I don't know how guns work, but the little thing that, you know, goes like that when it shoots, puts the card in between it so it can't fire. Pretty insane. So we're talking like high, I mean, extremely powerful. This does not allow guns to fire. It's a super effect. We have Gadget Soldier. Rude Kaiser, such a classic art. It's terrible, but I just thought this artwork is so classic. It's really good. Vorce Raider, Vorce Raider in attack mode. Destroy Joey. We have X Head Cannon. Lajin, the mystical genie. Are we only going to get X Head Cannon? We got Battle Ox, another classic Beast Warrior. Ryu Kishin Powered. Mystic Horseman. So many like starter deck Kaiba cards. The Grappler. What is this? A devious snake with a thick body that wraps around an enemy monster and squeezes the life out of it. It has a thick body. You got to watch out for the grappler. Hitatsumi Giant, one of the first, I think this was the first card played in the in the anime. Ryukishin, not Ryukishin Power, just Ryukishin. We got Sagi, the Dark Clown. Watch out. Obelisk, the Tormentor. I didn't realize the gods were in here. Ma oh, okay. No, only Obelisk because that's the one he uses. Mass Beast Desgardius. Okay, come on. Kaiser Glider, very cool. Invitation to a Dark Sleep, another classic card. It's a Spellcaster. That kind of feels like a Yugi card. Death Feral Lamp, the Blade Knight. Y Dragon Head. Okay, there's the Y and the Z because they're effect monsters. I guess that's why they were separate. Lord of D, the Legend. We have the Wicked Worm Beast. This is always a hilarious card to me. It's got a giant worm on it. I mean, man, old Yu-Gi-Oh just had so many good designs. Once returned during end phase, return this face-up card to the hand. Is this a spirit monster almost, basically? It's basically a spirit monster. That's weird. Agent Lamp, they expanded on that and made spirits. XYZ Dragon Cannon. We've got XY Dragon Cannon, Rabbit Horseman. Monster Reborn with the old artwork. Okay, that's amazing. That is really cool to see. Polymerization. Stop Defense. Mesmeric Control. Flute of Summoning Dragon. Soul Exchange. Silent Doom. Lullaby of Obedience. I feel like this is in Legendary Collection Kaiba, isn't it? I think it is. Works a special cost down. Card of Demise, an actual good card in here. Very nice. Fiend Sanctuary, Shrink. That's um, not the prize card version, but it'd be pretty cool. Enemy Controller, up, down, left, right, A, B. Is it left, right, A, B? Or is it up, down, left? I think it's just left, right, A, B. Okay, either way. We have Megamorph, Dark Energy, Spell Absorption, Crush Card. I mean, classic. Speaking of prize cards, Gift of the Mystical Elf. We got Ring of Destruction, Virus Cannon, Interdimensional Matter Transporter, Cloning, Shadow Spell, Final Attack Orders, and a Negate Attack. So, oh my goodness, you get a lot of old school cards in there. A lot of those are really not usable, but if you are making some old school decks, they're pretty cool. This product's pretty awesome. I mean, it's a lot like the OCG one, except it's in, you know, the TCG. So we have it in English, which is a lot easier for us to actually, actually use the cards and stuff. And those prismatic secret blue eyes look absolutely amazing. Is it worth like 400 bucks? It's really up to you. Like if you want all this stuff in here, you know, maybe you could justify it. $400 is a high price tag. I hope I'm right about that price, but it's a high price tag. So it's, and these days they're not 400 anymore. I think they're like reselling for like a thousand or something crazy. I wouldn't buy them at that price. So if you already got them at 400, I, you're probably feeling pretty good about it. Very cool product. You love to see this old school stuff like made by Konami. And I hope they continue making stuff, 
you know, even if it is these crazy prices, at least there's something out there that's pretty cool. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Puffin Zudum, Ernesto Dan, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Another Side Show, Ian Moose, Junior Barney, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Chang Lang, and Aldelso Galicia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.